All right, you're back with Al and Biff. We're still in Tenerife. We're doing a little chipping challenge. Uh, it's an up and down one we haven't done before, so it's holing out everything. We did it a little bit earlier, didn't we? And it's tough. Like it's. I don't it know if the camera hard. will do the green justice, actually, but oh, slopes everywhere. The and green's quick as well. It's quick and firm, which is perfect for holding out, to be fair. So it's it's good. It is good. Paul said it's very much like a tour style green where it's really subtle slopes, but the chips have to land in pretty much the exact spot to get it close. Otherwise, you're stuck with sort of six to eight footers all day and that's putting yourself under pressure all the time. So it's uh, it's difficult. We're going to toss a coin to see who goes first because it's a bit of an advantage knowing what the chip does. And whoever's playing the chip, the other person will just talk through what they think they're going to do. It might not always work out that way, but that's what we're going to do. funny anyway. So we've got nine holes, we've got par twos, Two over par was the score from this from this morning from a little bit of practice. So obviously anything better than that would be great. Obviously level par is the ideal one, but there's a couple of real smelly ones. We have had a comp on here before, haven't we? Yeah, I lost five nil. We starting then, yeah? That's a drill in the background, by the way. There you go. Coin toss with the most worn coin I've found in my golf bag. What is He's it? He's bald. What is it? He's bald as well. Perfect. Heads or tails? Heads. Tails it is, I'm going first. And to make it as realistic as we can, because that's what it's about, finishing out, that drill wouldn't be in the background normally. It's crowd noise, we're going crowd noise. We're dropping it, so play it as it lies. 2019 drops, I know it's 2020, but here we go. So he's having a little look, and you can see the slope here. It's kind of the peak of the slope where he stood now, and then it slopes down to the hole. It's, it's not an easy one, this, is it, really? So, I'm guessing, I'm pretty sure he's got a 60 degree wedge and he's going to try and play mm, sort of in between a flop shot, like that kind of low spinny one I think, it's going to land just on the crest of that slope and trickle down, hopefully it doesn't hit the goes about 8 foot past. He's played it nice actually, oh he's hold it, ooh. That's what I mean though, it's just gone for like Tricky. 4 foot. Yeah, played it well. Well, as I said, though, he did it as I said. 60 degree wedge, yeah. 60 degree wedge, a little bit of spin. Told you, I know his game. He was feeling the slope with his feet there. A little bit of uh, aim point where you can sort of stand, start to feel what the slope does in your feet, and you give that then a, a, a value of what the slope is. That takes a lot of practice, so yeah, it's not something you can just do. He needs to be quiet. This is pretty straight, to be honest, if it's me putting it, which it probably will be, in a second, I'll be playing this straight. I always play it low, no, it's a good putt. Little bit of break. Nice start, that. Evan for this drop. Just gets away from you, this chip. Beautiful soft hands. Again, it's Don't just away, gone man. to three and a half, four feet. Shut up! This is what it's brilliant for. Going through his routine. Line up, taking his time. It's him lining that up with his left hand. Yeah. We decided a lesson years ago. And we figured out I'm left eye dominant, so right, when I lined up with the right, it wasn't aligned where I thought it was. Hope we all got that over the uh, background noise. Mark up for you. I think he's got this one quite straight. Terrible commentary on the side. Lovely pot. Everyone, yes! Level par, level par. Here we go, hole two. White flag. Not over too much green to work with, a little downslope to the pin off the left side as well, so his little spot. I'm sure he's preferred his lie there. Again, they're all tricky little chips and fingers crossed we get to see a little duff from the tour pro here. A bit of luck. A little duffy job. Ah, he's not duffed it. That's disappointing. Look at that break. He's hold it. Oh! Always call it early if you think it's in and it's your opponent. Say it's in. Never goes in. Get your lips off my golf ball. Good shit though, to be fair. 
Little buggy, he's not allowed to drive buggies anymore, banned after his behaviour last time. Yep, little Wilson hat on. Lad. That's, this is good, it's going well. Pressure on me. It's not an easy chip this. It's quite firm as it hits the green and gets away from you. Oh, one arm bandit. Sit, sit. Oh, played it well as well, that. Just got away from him. This is why it's tricky. Looks like he's hit a good shot. It's gone to a good five foot. Maybe even seven, because he's, well, more like three actually, because he's only three foot tall. Look at him. I'm not missing this though, because I've watched it from the other side. So I know what way it breaks. I know the start line. I love it when he sounds confident. You've got to make sure I get the pace right, but I'm not missing that. Because if he misses, you're going nuts. <laughs> Other side, went right to left. Just outside the left. Keep pulling my shorts down because they ride up. My t shirt's too short. Or I'm too tall. Get some clothes to fit you. Stop buying extra large boys. Yeah, not missing that. Overly confident, Wally. All you've got to do is get the pace right and then just... Push shut it down up. right. He's shut up. Him up there as well. You moved on your back stroke. Well, him and him. Oh. Good. Well done. One up. Right, that's really disappointing for me, that. Because that was rubbish and I didn't pick the pace. That, and I said I was going to pick the pace and I didn't pick the pace. And it's it weak. Left to right put, stay over it. And then my challenge now, mentally, is to let it go. And that's, that's always my biggest challenge. Right. Next chip. A little red cone. Red flag. I think he's got 54 there and he's played it quite aggressively. Oh, Cleared the, the lie wasn't great there. Uh, wasn't it? Cleared the first bit of slope and tried to run it up, but it's just not not quite come out as fast as he thought. It's come out a bit dead. Sometimes you can't do anything about that. I ate a chip yesterday. I was playing and it must have got like a really thick blade of grass between the ball and it come out like literally went a foot in front of me, which is enjoyable. Right, he's going to miss this now. Let's see if we can read this. Oh, look at him there. What are you doing there? <laughs> Think you are? Pre-season push-ups, mate. Mate, you couldn't be less like Camilo Villegas. He's got so much more hair. I think I weigh a bit more than him as well. Yeah. He's, he's like decent looking lad him as well, to be fair. Okay, go on Jason. Jason Statham. Jason Statham, Pep Guardiola, whatever you want to call me, it's Sam. A little bit off the right, this, I think. A little bit off the right, be aiming about a ball outside the right edge. All about the pace again. Pace on line, obviously. Oh no, he's pulled that, he's pulled that, he's pulled that, he's pulled that. That's disappointing for him, isn't it? Look, look at his little face there. Oh, that's nonchalant. Chances. Don't smile at someone else's suffering. Quickly, by the way, this for me, into grain, normally would be like, straight away the lie kind of dictates my feeling, I'd be like, Ugh. but you have a practice swing. Club goes through it, fine, so just trust it. We'll see about that. Stand up. Unlucky. You know what? 
I'll give you that. Well done. Uh, both one over now, aren't we? Need all up and downs. All up and downs to get uh, the record job here for this. We've only played it once, so the record's not been set very long. No. Right. Why? Anyone answer this? Anyone in the building trade? He's digging, right? He's a big digger. And that fella's got a hose pipe and he's watering where he's digging. Why is that? You know, think about it, I'll maybe make the ground softer so the digging's easier, but anyone that knows, yeah, let me know. We'll get back to golf now. Longer chip. Looks relatively flat, but it's actually not. There's a little slope. The ball's going to play a little 54 here, I'm guessing. Land it over that slope, take that slope out of play. And then there's a slope down towards the, the, the hole where you just walked up, pick the spot. Land it just, no, stop it. Land it just short of that spot. Let it release down, which he has overly released. No, it's quite nice, that, isn't it? Good shot. Didn't even realise you were playing that then. Soz. Concentration and focus that. Good chip that. With Diggy in the background as well. Well done. Damn. This, I know like that we do a lot of different games and stuff, but this, this is real golf and it's probably the most effective practice you can do. It's basically like on course practice, but you play nine holes, you're never going to have, well, hopefully you're not going to miss nine greens. So this is, you're doing more practice here, short game wise than you would on the course, but it's well, the real. You keep leaving yourself these three and four and five fusses, which are just horrible. Yeah, and you're no good at them, are you? No. He actually is good at them. I think he's very high up on the stats last year, so 2020 might be different. Hope not for most of the time, to be honest, because I'd like to see him do well, but just not today. They're so subtle, these breaks. So subtle. I'm having this as, oh, what are you going to guess at this one, Al? Inside left, I'm going. That put he missed. I thought it was, it was right and he thought it was left, so I'm going inside left. Oh, good putt, it was, it was, it's a tricky putt, I said inside left, that's annoying, well done. One over through what? Four. One over through four? Yeah. That's 75% up and downs, where would that be on tour? Pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. I can't even think, I don't even know what the stat is on that. Wow, I need to look at more stuff. Yep. <laughs> Thanks. so, you meant to have information, you meant to be like, pro. McCaddy tells me what to do. Quite a long chip this one, it's a good sort of 30 yards. I think he's going to try and do exactly what I did, carry that first tier and run it up the second. Oh my god, how loud is that? Broke his con concentration there, didn't it? Oh go, oh go, oh go, oh go, oh no, oh no! Uh, it's a bit of duff cam that, you know. Really? Yeah. Yes, we love a bit of duff cam. Open the body up and off. Here's an interesting one. Look back over emails the other day. I don't do what you do, it doesn't work. Look back <laughs> over emails the other day. And I had uh, old lesson notes when I seen Phil Canyon a few years ago. I've seen him since, but he said, don't use the line. The line is better without it. And I've been using the line for like the last two years, so just remembered today. What a clown. I think I'm going to go one in front here. Oh, it's an early walk as well. No way. Have a bit of that. This, this is why these chips are so tough. We're chipping from there and this slope. Brilliant. So that's where the chip's got to be so good. And that's what it's like on tour. You get the odd one, yeah. Where well, you just can't, shut up. Where well, you just can't, you just can't miss it on a certain side. So this is one of those ones where it's a bit of a short-sided one. Idiot. Shouldn't short side yourself, should you really? 
Right, I'm going first now because he's had the first five first. I'm going first now. It's not really, I feel like with these chips it might be a better going second. You get to see how to play it, but it's on me now. Just having a little walk up now. Just to the point which he's, what do you think's the fall line? Where's the ball going to run from into the hole down the slope? So he's going to try and get the ball to that point and then let the ball release down. Oh, what a lovely little shot this is. That's a great shot. Leave it here and then look how happy he is. Five foot left for elbow. Sometimes you're happy with it though, aren't you? You just some chips are tough. And they are. We've just got to be so good at these. And I'm, I am sorry about that. We haven't got a choice. Right Can't here. do much about the noise. That's a great up and down. Quick as well, That's that. a great up and down. What we want over through? What the hell's that? Five. Six, that. Six? Yeah, that was the fifth. I was wrong. I got overly excited before thinking we'd played more. Me and him, the Biff, so lucky to be able to practice on a green like this. And I know what, you know, I know what it's like in the UK at the minute. Practicing is difficult in this sort of way because sometimes the greens aren't, you know, great to put on. But if you can get out on the course late in the evening when no one's looking and do it out there, even if you just do every hole you play, do three up and downs and do it this way and keep score, just keeps you sharp. So he's just looking at the point that it breaks from. Pick that spot, pick his landed spot, how it's going to release to that point and then just let the slope do it. He's probably explained that one a bit my shot, which I'm happy the way I executed it. You can have a little 54 here, quite aggressively into the slope, I assume. Hopefully a bit of a duff action. Has he a bit of duff action? Go. Oh, it's quite nice actually. It's going to leak a little right. A bit more. What didn't they need it like a foot? Needed a little more. Honestly, right, he's not played a bad chip there. He's not played a bad chip. Um what are you seven, eight feet away? It's not easy. Clap yourself some bits to do here, kid. Yeah, you'll miss this. He won't miss this. I have a feeling he won't miss this. Well, we both won over now. This is the sixth. A little bit outside the right. Watches how he keeps his head down. Keeps his body down, completely still. Beautiful. Look at that. My reading is terrible. Get it! I said that was outside the right. <laughs> That's why I'm not a caddy and it's probably why I need one. Any caddies? Work for nothing? No? Uh, one and one, one. One over. So what, we've both hold two nice yeah. putts there, really, to keep yeah. us in it. Which is part of the thing and like, you know, okay, I haven't had a great chip, but the great thing for us mentally as well is making sure that you walk up there with a fresh mind to hold the putt. You're not angry about the chip you've hit. So it kind of does a you know, real you're, on course stuff. You're practicing routine as much as you're practicing your chipping. Exactly really. that. That's what it's about. I'll tell you what, I know we're filming this, but like mental fatigue from it. Like I can feel like I, I'm trying my best to concentrate, 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 concentrate. I'm, all that going on. I'm all right to be honest, because like in general, concentration is one of my really strong points. Got the microphone filmed in slow motion. This will probably never go out. You'll never see this because this is probably filmed in slow motion as well. Nuggets. Oh no, I hadn't checked. It's actually not the nicest lies at times. This stuff is really, really sticky and horrible. It's just, you know, especially like behind this ball here where if we just get a tuft up here. What are you doing there? Just... I'll play it. <laughs> go on then. Bonus points? No. Okay, I'll play it. Right, you're gonna get that sort of lie into grain, sat down. I'm gonna crown it. You can explain it, you know what I'm doing. Oh, here we go. So what he's gonna do, he's gonna stand a little closer to it. He's gonna put the toe in, he's gonna heel off the deck, and he's just gonna lean the, the grip a little bit further forward. He's almost gonna try and strike it a little about the toe as well. how much that breaks oh wow 
Great shot. Great shot. Bonus? Yeah, I'll give you that. Your bonus can be, you can have that. <laughs> oh, thanks. That's great. I'm going to hold out anyway. Oh, All right, cocky. Bit, All right, cocky. So they've actually played. Is this the sixth? Yes, this is the this sixth. This is the, the sixth. I feel, I feel like I've played the sixth about eight times. This is the sixth. He's seeing big advantage, seeing mine there. How much it breaks. It doesn't even look like it's that big a slope, but it's amazing because the greens are quick. Once it picks up pace, oh, it'll come in a bit. It's just a little short. It's a nice chip. Checked up, didn't it? What club did he use? 60. Ah, uh, 60, see. He used the 60. I went with 54. A little bit more release out of the 54. I had the, um, the lime might help me because it got a little bit more run and less spin. You know, when you plugged me ball, basically. What are you thinking? I'm thinking just left lip. I think it's just going to go early and then hold. Mm, is it though? What? Huh? What? Nothing. Nice idea. Just last thing he wants to do here. No, it's a sportsman here. He's picked his line. Again, watch the body, stays dead straight. Symmetry in his arms, can't see his right arm. Commits to it, Bosch. Ooh, didn't want to move, did it? No, it's, tr it's funny that one. It is a funny pop. Because the, the chip breaks loads. I mean, you see my, ch my chip broke loads. The putt, I mean, it didn't really match it, did it? Let's go. So that's six, yeah? Six. Three to go. One over, one over. Target wow. Gone. Last thing you want to do is get beat by me in another chip and come. Here we are, hole seven. Nickname this one El Rapido. Looks so simple on camera. I do. In general, yeah. Honestly, this looks like you just chip on the green and it just get down there. This is so fast. It's got to be said, these greens are running at probably close to 11, and they're quite firm as well. One-arm bandit again. Sit, sit, sit! Oh, what a great shot. It's twice. I'll be better chips than you. I've lipped out. Did you? Yeah, look down the second hole. Oh, you did. I did. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Shot to own for this one. I didn't get up and down. Oh, is it? Cheers. Do the same again then. Got to open up a little bit. So he's got the face open. I think he'll play it with a little bit weaker left left hand on the club that will keep the loft on it, pops it up. That's lovely that, look how quick it is, look how quick it is. You played that spinny haven't you? Setup wise, how do you play that spinny so it spins a little bit more, everyone loves a little bit of spin. I actually like it when they almost get the toe in and I let the club kind of open a little bit as I play the shot. Okay. So it's open anyway and then as the toe digs in the club opens even more. Okay yeah. So it adds a bit more loft and it keeps the the ball and the club face that little bit longer. Come with a little bit more dead, but with more spin. I think. Yeah, well it worked anyway, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? It's not given. Yeah, it is. Well that defeats the object because it's meant to be proper video, so. As if I was missing that ever. Even me. Two holes to play. This is actually one of the hardest chips on the uh, on our little nine hole course. From here, all the way down to this white flag. So we're going to do a little course walk. It's just walk. club selection, it's hard. It's that's what I find with that, it's club selection, so... Why, you've got so that much green to yeah, work with? there's so many landing points. You could hit seven iron, but it just brings all the slope in. Okay, so what's the key element to this chip? Mate, picking... Well, the key element is before the hole, so what it does before that, the slope here, and then running up to the hole, rather than the early bit of the chip. So what are you doing standing here right now? I'm just trying to how this breaks once it gets over Okay, so you're looking at a point here where you're trying to get the ball to yeah, and then run it down. it down. Right, brilliant. I think he's got a little 50 degree gap wedge here, just going to knock it on the green, run down the slope, get it to that second tier. My American accent is so bad, I'm going to stop doing that.
It must be really annoying. I apologise. Got down that slope. Just got away. Oh, it's, a, it's four foot, five foot. It's a good ship, though. It's a good, good ship. I'm happy with the shot. Just, it's so quick that I think a bit more loft might have been a better option, but I've played it now. Never miss camera, mate. Be a little right to left before him. Firm right there. Not a problem, that. Oh! Firm. It's like a driver. You smashed it. Oh! Sorry. That was there. It's just so. I mean, who hits a putt that hard from four foot? Is that four foot or five? I don't know. Who went to put that on? You. Oh, it's doing so well. Right, I'm two over through eight after I just decided to hit a putt from five feet that would have gone about 15 feet. So, yeah, that was good. And I'm two over now and I'm one behind. I don't know what club. What club have you got? 54. Oh, he's got 54. 50. Yeah, 54. it's ridiculous. So he's got 54. He's only more loft than me. I think more loft is the is the answer actually, but we'll see. Ooh, I need to get over that slope. Get over the slope. Yeah, it's quite nice. Look how quick it goes down now. Ah, it's a good chip. Once it gets over that slope, it runs away. Good chip though. Is that silly face he's playing? I just watched you smash it as well. Look at his little face. Look at his silly little face. Look at his silly little face. Okay. I still enjoying the, the not, not enjoying the clean shave and look at the moment. Oh yeah, people think you look about seven years old. Oh, yeah, good, I like that. Everyone said I look too old. Fat. It was just bold, mate. There was you added the fat in. Right, this is take a one-shot lead with one to play. In a little close-up action here because he had a little close-up of mine and it missed, so. This is the 2020 always miss cam. No oh, no it's not. What a time for me to decide to absolutely smash my putt. One over, two over. I know we have a bit of a, a laugh. Shut. Annoying. I know we have a bit of a laugh, but it genuinely gets you like in a feeling of a competitive mode because this is why we do it, the challenges. Because you're on camera. We talked about yesterday, weren't we driving here? Because you're on camera. Sorry, I was just preparing my line cheating then. I will <laughs> drop that. Wow. Well, you know, you just wow. catch yourself doing it. Oh no, I best not talk about that with recent events. No, don't, yeah. Just ignore that. We can't be controversial. Go on. Um, yeah, we're talking about how... I don't know what we're talking about. Uh, yeah, we both... <laughs> I want to beat him. honour, strength. I don't I, know what, go on. I want to beat him, he wants to beat me. So you feel that, like... What? You know, like a little bit of... But is it butterflies or...? A bit of adrenaline, and I see what he's done here. I've just taken a curry. I had a curry. Yeah, but you see what he's done here. I've just taken a one-shot lead, and he's jumped in and got me to talk to get me to lose all the feel, just to annoy me, basically. And he's taken I could have gone straight in there, bit of momentum, and hit the shot. But now it's got me thinking. It's like when you've got a penalty and you try and put him off. You balloon it over the bar. No. Little. Up and down puts the pressure on you massively. Yeah. Up, I think up and down gets thrive under pressure little down slope here after about 12 feet in little down slope to the hole and a big a big slope behind it you don't want to go past last thing you want is a big downhiller go on balloon it over the bar just start to uh stop filming again interrupted again another little tactic killing me yeah Absolutely another, another little me. tactic run out of memory on the card conveniently so yeah what what the, the situation here he's one over i'm two this is the last hole so, uh, to be fair, up and down, I beat the, well, this morning's record as well, so... Yeah, the, the record that stood for about an hour. Yep, landed it over that slope. Yeah, it's, oh, that is disappointing. That is annoying. That is annoying. I needed a balloon over the bar then. Wow, that's loud now. Oh, 
I'd give it here, but not. No. No. Yeah, great stuff. Brilliant. Right, one over, he's finished. Good. Well done. Thank you. Don't be deflated. Got a chance. That's what dreams are made of, this. Positive Al. Positive Al's going to hold it. This is do or die for Evans. Our last hole. On the same site as where the 5 0 decimation of wearing took place. Positive I feel like, that. I feel like I'm going to get my revenge. You said that. Positive vibes. What's your lie like? Oh, light. Like. It's a little bare, but it's mm. alright. It's alright. How are you feeling? I'm good, actually. Well, I've got a hole that I've nice, so I'm just literally, I've read it. And I'm literally focusing on holding it. So, which you should do on any ship, really. Ever, everyone's watching, mate. He knows. Everyone's watching. Go, go. No, 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 no. Oh! I started running. I started running. I started running. I started running. Days gone by, I'd have thrown that, but I just, I don't want to act like a petulant child, but that, that's got to break. That has to break. Stop it because there's a big hill. Couldn't be happy. No, there's a big hill. How does it not break? Couldn't be happy. There's a big hill. You've won. Two over for nine's all right, but that, it's, you lose, don't you? So that's. I'm going to sit over lunch like this. It's done my head, isn't it? See you next Tuesday. <laughs> I've collected my thoughts and I'm ignoring his stupid face next to me. But that sort of practice gets you in that zone where you need to perform. And he performed a little bit luckier than I did. It's annoying losing a challenge. Of course it is because I performed so well. 5-0 last year. On here, same, same course essentially. Got to be present. Which is five your last performance. Well, that that one was close, wasn't it? I think if it was an eighteen one, I'd have got it back. So just a nine or one. It's eighteen holes in it normally. You can do that on, on your by yourself. Set up a little course around your own chipping green, not your own chipping green, but like your golf course is chipping green. Set up a little course, keep your score, and see what you can shoot, and then just keep going back trying to beat it, and you can compete with yourself in that way. Um, but for now from a disappointed Al and a smug Biff thanks for watching see you next Tuesday see you next Tuesday with me at